<laughs> my base my base is an absolute absolute mess and that is a tent hello i've been busy in between episodes first i went stream caving see if i get my first double <laughs> this is not going great come on <laughs> what is this Yes, yes, that's a double. Ah, oh, thank goodness, it's still possible. <laughs> oh, diamonds. I saw diamonds there. Probably just one diamond ore again. Nope. That's a, that's a single. That's a single. Hold on, let's put them on the bar. And that was a double, I think. Iron in tough, iron in tough, iron in tough. Hello? Actually? Yes! Look at that! We found the legendary 1000 iron iron veins. Four hours live on Twitch. And I plan to do a lot more of those this season. So do follow my Twitch channel as well. The good thing is I'm rich now. Mega rich. But I found something better than diamonds. Hello. I got lucky. Hermitcraft season 9, we're here. Apparently, the other side disc is one of the rarest things you can find in the game. I did not know that. And to find two in the same chest is very, very, very lucky. And it really is a very good tune. All in all, the caving session was an absolute blast and it made me rich. 13 glowing sacks and amethysts the amazing wonderful amethysts and the tent well <laughs> the tent the tent was built in another stream hermitcraft livestream day oh right yes uh, i i don't have i don't have any footage from from the stream but but basically this this is what i did well, I did cure up two new villagers, hello, and tried to get them in the tent. <laughs> it didn't go very well. One of them became a sheep friend. <laughs> you are so annoying. Oh, and I also gave Super Tommy a friend. Meet Super Tommy, the second. And he too is a man of pumpkins and melons. And even though I was planning on making a raid farm this season, I don't really see a massive need for it. I mean, I got I got emeralds coming out of my ears at this point. <laughs> so, long story short, I've been busy and the base is now a mess. And I think the very first thing I want to do today is fix the mess. I want to make sure that I can get my two new villagers, Bruno and Ben, into the tent safely and sound. And the problem is that this is not an ordinary <laughs> villager holding cell. So I'm going to have to make do with what I have. I think if I do that, break this and then break this and put a lectern there with a brown carpet on top and then have this here, planks here with a trapdoor there. That is hopefully going to work. Trust me, the amount of problems I had with Bruno was rough. Hence his name. We don't talk about Bruno. Hmm... Before I move you, I'm going to convert you one more time, Ben. I realize I never really explained why I'm converting villagers. Business. It's good for business. You see, every time I convert a villager, they reduce their prices. And you can do that up to five times. And at the fifth time, I don't think they are supposed to give you higher prices again. Because... Well, they, they think that you are their savior and hero, even though I'm very much responsible for making them into a zombie in the first place. <laughs> Logic. Villagers are OP. Welcome back, Ben. Yes, I am your hero. <laughs> right, hopefully this goes smooth. Off you go, Ben. Please work smoothly. Yes. Hello. I'm pretty sure he has accepted his lectern. Yes, yes he has. Bruno Ben loves the tent. Please love the tent. Uh, 
And... It works, Bruno! Welcome to the tent. You were the biggest pain ever. Now you may have some questions. What books are Bruno and Ben trading? And why the tent? Well, they are trading Looting 3 and Silk Touch. And the reason for the tent is because it is temporary. <laughs> As in, as in temporary. You see, I really want to utilize villagers as much as I can this season, but I don't want to keep them here, in my starter place. And so I figured by making a non-super efficient trading station, I am forced to move Ben and Bruno and Super Tommy and Super Tommy once I move into my, to my cave. A <laughs> very logical, self-punishing method of playing the game. And now you may be saying, well, why didn't you just wait and make the villagers after you moved into the cave? Because Ben and Bruno aren't really here to trade books with me. That's just a bonus. The reason I want Ben and Bruno is because of this trade. Four glass for one emerald. You see, I'm planning on using quite a bit of glass in my cave base this season, and this is such an incredibly OP way of getting lots and lots of glass. And I mean, the books, yeah, they're bonuses. They, it doesn't hurt to have Looting 3 and Silk Touch. But the main reason is glass, and I'm going to build up a massive supply of glass. And actually, I should probably have a little bit of a storage unit for it. Hmm... Yes! I am really enjoying these little micro-builds of the starter base this season. Very much unplanned, but to be honest, it's kind of the charm. Perfect! And nine double chests is equivalent of 486 stacks of glass, which is 31,104 blocks of glass. I got a lot of trading to do, but eventually I'll get there, and when I do, it's gonna feel absolutely great because that's going to help out a ton with the projects that I'm planning. And let's be honest, this is so much better than collecting sand and smelting it down. Although I think I'd want a couple more villagers to speed up the process even more. Hmm. And how about mending as a bonus book? Now while I'm becoming his hero, I'm going to make a tent. I would like to make this a one-man tent. If I can. <laughs> yes, beautiful. Oh no, I'm an idiot. I took down the lectern before trading. Oh, <laughs> no. I can't believe, I can't believe that. <laughs> hmm, it's not mending, but that's... That's a pretty good bonus book. We'll take that instead. I feel like a complete idiot now. Cozy! The perfect one-man tent. Now to make this into a viable villager holding tent though, I think I'm gonna need that at the, in the back. And once again, lectern with carpet. And you with carpet. Yeah, it still looks very much like a tent. Your tent is ready, sir. It is very cozy, and all it needs is you. Off we pop. I wonder what is going through their mind as they travel on the super safe dirt bridges of rails. Aha! That worked though! Oh... You're a bit too tall. Nothing a piston can't fix. Hopefully. Yes. Brilliant. And confirming that you work. Yes, my glass factory is healthy. Ooh, actually, Bruno, Ben. Bruno, Ben. Hmm, Bobby? Yes, <laughs> Bobby. Hello, this glass campsite is coming together really quite nicely. It just needs a little bit of touches and details. I think a stair pathway here is a good idea, connecting the layers together. And here's a thing I really enjoy doing with this area. 
change out the dirt backgrounds for stone. And actually, I think I can connect this pathway to this pathway. Keeping with the same style though, very rural and, and rough. And again, stone in the mountains makes it look just a little bit better in my opinion. I should really make a silk touch pickaxe though. Yes, a small little change that actually made this area a lot better. Now, of course, it's not a real campsite without a campfire to sing Kumbaya around. Some nice seats and terrainification. Aha! Very campsite-ish. I like it. And it has further extended <laughs> the starter base. It's truly becoming like a little society here now. And I am a big fan of that. And I wonder what the view is from over here. Yeah, that's that's really coming together. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I've completely missed. I've completely missed that this entire time. <laughs> the big pen. Oh, that is a gorgeous logo. However, I am a little bit scared about... Yes. For sale, cooked pork. Four stacks for one diamond. That is very, very, very competitive. And speaking about competitive, I have something to show you all. Something I saw in one of those streams that I did. And it quite shocked me. <laughs> okay. Someone, someone seems to have completely just blocked my shop with a beautiful build. <laughs> Do you like my box? <laughs> well, 2010 called and wanted their Minecrafter back. <laughs> Exima seems to have completely blocked my shop. It is blocking my shop a bit. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> anyway, shop. I sold out. This, the, the, these are, are restocked. Super Tommy's Golden Bananas. 28 diamonds. And that's really shocking because rarely have I made a shop that actually sells. Now, Jevin may have driven us out of business with his super price for pork, but 28, 28 diamonds, I mean, I mean, that's that gotta be that gotta be seen as a victory. And besides, with our abstract logo, we can we can we can just change what we sell. We just come up with something else that fits the the thing. Not right now, though. Right now, we're just gonna do what any sensible business owner would do when challenged. Try and ignore it. <laughs> and of course, eat the cooked pork chops. In all seriousness, though, I want to go on an adventure. An adventure to get something that I really want. Something long, spiky, and shiny. A trident. I miss my trident. <laughs> from last season. Now my armor isn't the best, but luckily Bobby provided me with a handful of protection books. Yes. And since I still don't have mending, I may have to rely on old school repairing methods for my shoes and chest plate. Yes. And yes. <laughs> and I'm out of levels. Take my pumpkins and melons. Thank you, villagers. OP in every single way. Yes. And I wonder if I can trick the pants if I do this and that. Yes. Quad protection for boat. And with that, time to hit the open seas. <laughs> now, I don't know where the open seas are, but I think I'm going to try and head that general direction. The last time I did this, it took an incredible amount of time and I was really, really unlucky. I'm hoping... I'm hoping it will be a little bit faster this time, and I'm not gonna lie, I really wish I had an elytra. To be fair, that should that should probably be higher priority than a trident. Well, I really do like my tridents. I found open C! Right, F3 and B, and now the hunt begins. I see some over there. Trident... Nope. Hunting for drowned is actually quite exciting and and relaxing. Now I may regret saying that. This is just 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 five minutes in or so. I wouldn't mind a treasure map. <laughs> Two iron nuggets. <laughs> oh, this is a drowned temple. Any trident ears? 
Hello? Not a single one? You're, 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 you're not a trident, you're a sander. Nay. Oh, 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 wait a minute. Come on. Please. Please. No. That is the biggest nether portal I've ever seen. Wow. And it's already looted. <laughs> I think, I think you're in a bit of a pickle, Mr. Chicken. I'm here to save you. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I've got a friend now! <laughs> Hello, I'm looking for a trident man. Nope. Hello? Ah, <sighs> nope. Aha! Uh -huh. I've, I've hit the end of the world! He would be so annoying if there was one trident boy outside the world. Nope. Please? No. <laughs> no! Hello? Hello? Ah! Come on! Uh. Yes! Yes, there it is! Oh! Unbelievable! Unbelievable! I got it! And, uh, uh, ironically, ironically enough, I got it right at home. I was out for about two and a half hours and got very few spawns. And that's when I realized they were probably being loaded here. And yep, Turns out, spawn, spawn is the best place to drown. Hello. Aha. Not very cheap, mind you. Yes, yeah, yes, I will become your hero. <laughs> first things first, though. Let's lock that in. Bentley can wait, though, because I got one mending book and I've got a trident. All I need now is Riptide and Unbreaking, which I'm hoping to get at my local enchantment table, aka XP, ba XP Crafted's base. X-Base. <laughs> yes, X-Base. Ah, that's disappointing. That's better. Yes! Yes! Wait, is this perfect? Wait. I don't actually know. Riptide 3? Impaling 5. Is Riptide 3 the best Riptide? Unless you want to travel shorter distances. Yes! Okay! I I do not. Great! <laughs> Skyfork. <laughs> Wait for it. Yes! I'm flying! Well, I, it's, it's one form of, <laughs> of flying. I just gotta make sure to repair it before I accidentally break it. Yes. Great success. Everything is really starting to come together. Full protection 4, a glass camp, a mending Bentley, the sky fork, and I am now also doubling as a drowned. <laughs> Hello. I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready to find the cave. Or at the very least, explore the cave. A few days ago, while cutting trees, I discovered an entrance in the side of this mountain. I had a quick look in and it looked very promising. However, I wanted to explore it on camera. But from what I saw, it could potentially very well be the cave. As in the cave I build my Omega Cave out of. My base. <laughs> And it would be super cool if it would be this close to spawn. Now I did claim the spot, but I'm having issues finding it. Aha! <laughs> yes! Now somewhere here is a very, very, very cool... Oh, wow! <laughs> there is some kind of party going on on the side of this, of this Dark Oak Forest. There it is! There it is! Yes! Take... A look at that opening. I think when building a cave base, one of the most important things is going to be the entrance. Because think about it, it is literally the only thing that anyone else is going to see before they enter your base. And this entrance, if I can get a bit of height here, is looking... Well, it's looking a little bit rough, I'm not gonna lie, but it definitely has potential. Now, someone has been lighting up this area since I was last here, and this is how far I went. But this is looking very promising, and I wonder if this keeps on going. I guess there's only one way to find out. Yes. Yes. 
Wow. 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 There's a massive part of this that's a lush cave. There's a house spider. Hello, sir. This is looking seriously promising. Look at this view. I gotta get some torches down as I'm exploring this. Wow. I am getting really good vibes over the- <laughs> Hello? I'm getting really good vibes over the- It's very dangerous at the moment though, but I'm getting really good vibes over this place. And what I'm really looking for is height, diversity, and depth. Now ideally I would love it to have a connection and an opening in the deep slate as well. Oh, it keeps going! Wow! This is- This is exactly what I've been looking for! This is an Omega Cave, although currently in a very rough nick, but it's still an Omega Cave. Look at this height! This is amazing! This is absolutely incredible! Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I love the fact that there's also this, this dripstone stuff over here. This makes me so inspired. Hmm. Yep, that's looking pretty good. Oh my goodness. This is right underneath the other Omega part of this cave. So please, please, let me be, let me be wowed, zombies. This is absolutely perfect. This cave has everything that I was hoping for. Wow, wow, wow. Now my plan is to utilize as much space as possible and have diversity in my base. But most importantly, I want it to be a base. As in, I want it to be functional and livable. A big storage system, some farms, villagers, all of the stuff that makes a base a base. Ooh, that's diamonds. And I was already sold on this place. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's a, it's a single diamond, is it? Yep. <laughs> yep. Just, just a single diamond. It's the cave diamond. The one and only. That may be worth the monument. It's getting a little bit hostile right here. What, what is going on? Every single mob on the server just decided to show up. Welcome party. This place is absolutely massive, but I've made my way back to the entrance. And I think a good starting point for this area would be right around here. <laughs> now that still doesn't make any sense whatsoever. But the entrance is right up there somewhere. And so I think it's smart to start calling this the center. And what a center it is. Wow. I'm, 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 I'm over the moon. I'm shocked. This is great. This is absolutely fantastic. I have not been this excited to start my mega base since I, I, I honestly don't know. I honestly don't know. This is, this may be the most excited I've ever been to start my base. And even though it's going to be a lot of work, we've got a lot of time and I can't wait to turn this into a functional, super, mega, nay, omega, base. <laughs> Cave base of doom. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just speechless. But with that, we are out of video time for today, so... Cliffhanger? Well, it depends on how you look at it. But I think next time, I may start a build inside this cave. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, if you did enjoy the video, please hit the like button down below. And if you're brand new, consider subscribing. And I will see you in the next episode. <laughs>